Okay, today's one is one of the big four core exercises, which is the four point arm leg raise. And this needs quite a lot of instruction, so we're going to go through each component of it. Um, the big four meaning it's one of the top four core exercises I want you to do. Um, they sometimes call it the Superman, that exercise, but we call it a four point arm leg raise. Gosh, it's sunny here today. <laughs> okay, welcome to Sydney. If, when you're doing this exercise, what you want to do, four point meaning one, two, three, four, okay, four, position, four points on the ground. You've got to be arm width apart, okay, with the knees. So when you put your hands down, make sure your knees are the same as your hands, so you've got an even four points. Um, the first thing you've got to think about is the core, okay, so we need your spine in neutral. And remember, that's a very shallow curve. Now you'll see on Alki, she's got quite a hypolodotic curve, so we need to try and teach her to get back into a little bit neutral. So she needs to just pelvic tilt a little bit, not too much, so her curve is shallow, not excessive, okay? So that's a start point, and even doing that gives you a bit of activation, all right? Then we've got to make sure, she's actually doing really well here, she's in neutral up in here. Most people, drop down for me, are in that broken position there. So we don't want to be in a retracted shoulder position, it's too hard on the shoulders, plus you don't get very good core um, activations throughout the whole body. So if she comes back into there, she's neutral through here, and long in the head, which is great. So you don't want to have the head hung down, okay, you've got to be long in the back of the neck, as though you've got a, a dowel rod coming all the way down through there. So that's your start position. Now, whenever you're doing this exercise, all those core breathing activation rules apply. So she's got to make sure a little bit of pelvic floor comes on, okay, with this exercise, because she's not lifting weights, all right? She's doing low-level core exercise, so pelvic floor is quite good for this. With a little bit of pelvic floor like you're holding a wee, and then a quick breath out, which is what you need for when you're lifting weights, to try and keep that anterior core on, your obliques on, to help switch on that stability here, that control here, because she's gonna need that when she raises one arm, one leg. The first thing I'd get people doing is raising the arm initially. So from this point, she's gotta think, I've gotta balance between three points and raise my arm forward. Now, some people will raise their arm forward and they'll shift off to the knee, so you can't go and just shift off to one side. You've got to trust the shoulder that you've got as long as you've got a good shoulder. So just try that again for me, Elke. Yep, coming forward. Now, big tip with this one, make a fist, all right? And then use your lat. So she's gonna do a bit of a lat pull down, just a slight one, to engage her lat, which helps, remember, the lat connects through her lumbar fascia, which is gonna give her more stability. So when you're doing an arm leg raise, make sure when that's up, she pulls a lat on. Now hold it there for me, Elke. Then it's opposite, right? So it's her right leg, she's going to then straighten out the back. Now, as she does that, she's got to almost stabilize before she raises the leg. So she can't go and shift off to the left knee, she's got to trust the right shoulder. Just come down again for me, Elke. So let's reset. So shallow here, come up a bit, up a bit higher. There, there's neutral. Raise your left arm forward. Good. Now, what I tell people is, if you come over here for me, sir, is she, when she raises that arm forward, people tend to drop here. Okay, they tend to drop down and do that. So go into protraction. She, she needs to stay up here. And then when she raises that leg, again, she's got to work really hard there. So she's already dropped down again. So she has to really push down with that right arm. Now this one, this leg needs to go up in the air, right? Now to get that glute going more, dorsiflex the foot. Think about, Alki, push your heel towards the door. Okay, so she, when she pushes that way, and she's pulling that way, she's going to get lats and glutes, thrack lumbar fascia, she's got her abdominal breath out, so she's got that control, the whole thing's locked on. So there's your core stability, it's an endurance hold, so she needs to hold that, you're okay, <laughs> keep pushing up, a good 10 seconds on the hold, and then come down together, then reset, okay, get your neutral, get your neutral, then go right arm, so right arm forward, make a fist, pull down, left leg, push your heel to the door, if you like. Now at this point, she's skewing a little bit, so she's got a difference left and right, which I'd expect because she's had a right side disectomy. Okay, so she needs to work on, can you feel how like you're leaning on that knee? Yeah. So I can see she's leaning on that knee, so she's got to be aware, okay, I'm leaning too much on my knee, I need to trust this side a little bit more. All right, so her ability to 
cross connect if you like is not as good on this side so let's try that again for me come up so you need to really trust that and then she goes into a bit of a curve there so she needs to lift up a bit there okay trust that right shoulder left shoulder it's a lot harder isn't it yeah she'll be unstable now this will really help her getting her left and right control a little bit better so when she does do a squat or a lift or a lunge or a deadlift she's more even she's more um Less skew if you see that move there. Yeah. So this is why I don't let people going straight away getting into it. She's got to really stabilize first. So she needs to work almost harder doing this way. So tighter here, slowly with that right arm, and then tighten again and slowly with that left leg to give her enough time to translate and move weight onto one shoulder and trust that shoulder without shifting and moving away and compensating. Okay. All right, very hard work, but lots of things to work on there. Um, and make sure you do it really slow, and make sure you're doing one arm first, then leg, and then just changing left and right all the time. Okay.